Oh, it's a flop dog at the back, man. You gotta get that forwards. No, it's good. No, that's the tent. We gotta spin it around. Please have a bacon egg McMuffin meal with three extra hash browns. <laughs> Do you want anything? Yeah, I'll get hot cakes, please. Yeah. Should I just get one set or two sets? <laughs> two. How much your hot cakes? 18 hours sitting in a car, completely uncomfortable. Oh, didn't sleep at all, drove all through the day, all through the night. But when we rocked up, the sun was rising and it was bloody beautiful. Gotta be on! Gotta be on! We've been looking at this spot for maybe a year. We, we asked Triggy and the second he said, yep, yeah, let's go, we were okay, let's do it. And he made it happen, he's a legend. Such a charger going through those rocks. I, I think it's kind of all right, let's just go really slow. Back, back. Oh, no. I, I need more people out here. You keep the tail, can we go a bit more towards you? Okay, okay. There's a shallow rock there. There's a little rock here. As you're unloading everything runs through your head, did I actually bring enough water? Did I bring all my food? We kind of, as a side effect of our style of fishing, get thrust into these camping situations that are really intense at times. And you go hungry and you go thirsty and you get it dropped with whatever you brought for a week on the island. So you better actually have your spoon before your gas cooker. Usually we set up camp and get everything going, but it was pretty early in the morning when we got here, so we're like, okay, we gotta go spin it. Let's just go spin. Spin the inside, let's just get a feel for the spot. Are you and a rocked up, coral trout, instant hit. Yeah, coral trout. Fish after fish after fish. Pretty rad warm up, but as the sun started to set, things got really serious.
pretty epic start to the trip and we wanted to keep that froth going so someone said let's circumnavigate the island which which sounds sounds like a nice little adventure but when you don't really know how big the island is you don't know what you're getting yourself into so it took us three hours just to go about a quarter of the way around the island you realize how isolated you are there was this weird feeling like well, if anything happens we're, we're over and I think we all love that feeling I think that's one of the reasons we love this sport and we, we really try and push ourselves to find places that are extremely remote and there's just nothing no sign of people Snakey. It took us all day. We, we left probably about seven o'clock, eight o'clock in the morning and we got back at sunset. Yep. Half fire, I reckon. Big, big! Big psycho, big stream body, yes! Nah, that'll be alright. Keyhole surgery, eh? Oh, Alright, we're going to That's good, that's good. That's good. Am I jumping in here? Were you pushing that side? I was pushing, bro. Oh, no, I was like that close. I don't know what's been going on there, do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was frothing. <laughs> 